Hello everyone, this is a continuation of my previous video. We tried to consume a web service. So basically we have some issues. Right now we are trying to figure out how we will call that. So we generate some of the calls, uh, classes using the WSTL file. So that section is done. So right now we are trying to call that. So, but we have some issues. So right now, I almost figure out how uh, how we will call. So there is a path and set path we need to set set site name. So based on this site name, it will call. So we are setting that path, and after after all, we are making the calls. So get asset operation service and read authentication to read so asset operation authentication what is that authentication means i should have an authentication to access that particular endpoint <coughs> and i am trying to read that so if i am yeah if i am trying to run this we can see what is going to happen so which API is going to call so it's failed that's uh, that that so and also I got 403 that's a good sign because uh, I can't call my API that's only a thing I am concerned about so right now we need to check some of the things which API actually it's called so content type content text HTML <coughs> header included and uh, which URL it's called that's the uh, only one we are now interested in so no value crumb was included in the request there's a uh, yeah there's a uh, problem accessing access operation service so WS is a uh, endpoint services there is a yeah services path i didn't mention anything here just pass this one read so but i mentioned something regarding the xml so where exactly we are passing that to read set identifier okay so this is the one so um, basically this is the one uh, consuming the api using the uh, access to client so we will see we will see how we will do that spring boot based uh, uh, consume, consuming an application consuming a web service in next video but right now we are fine we call the api and we got a 403 exception that's a uh, things happen here so setting current message from from fault so mac mapping exception into access uh, access port so read consumer 32 <coughs> give name so asset operation ws and a separate asset operation and calling that api here so we are tracing using the debug mode we can find something but i'm not going to uh, deep on this because this api uh, right now this api is not working so even if uh, our side everything is fine we cannot access that api endpoint so um, we need to subscribe to uh, some uh, open source api and we need to check uh, our calling on that API is working so uh, we will do that in, in our next video or something and uh, not next video 
next uh, yeah probably on next video with uh, spring boot web service not using access to so that's all for wrapping up access to client for web service so thank you for